If you think you're not ready, pack your bag and go. Despair, injury, ballet, and a visit from the Bolton Bomber. I'm Amir Khan. That's Amir Khan. I'll be giving the lads my top training tips. Don't miss it. Boxing Academy continues 10 o'clock tomorrow on 5. Singles 92 to 98. I'm a the definitive singles collection from The Verve. Yeah. Twelve massive hits from three classic albums by one of the greatest bands of the 90s. Also features two previously unreleased tracks. This is The Verve. This is music. Buy it now. So you all knew about. Specsavers. Three second pair, yeah. Should have gone to. Specsavers! Isn't we supposed to be having a fiesta? Coming to DVD from November 2nd, it's Shrek 2, the year's biggest animated movie. Oh, Apache! Oh, Mexican food! It's loaded with fun. Oh, that is nasty. And now the DVD has an all new surprise ending Far, Far Away <laughs> Idol. Damn. Be the first to see the all new ending on DVD from November 2nd. This is the annual 2005. 61 tracks with the massive number one from Eric Prince. Two CDs and a bonus DVD with 20 of the hottest dance videos. The biggest dance album of the year. The annual 2005 from Ministry of Sound. Nice, yeah. <laughs> She's comfy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's IKEA! It's so inexpensive! Shrek! Fiona! Donkey! All your favorite characters are coming to DVD from November 2nd. <laughs> Look out, Shrek! You got a piece! Shrek 2 on DVD from November 2nd. Oh, the things we inherit. Dark eyes. Lucky us. And sensitive skin, not so lucky. Because when your scalp's sensitive, how do you deal with dandruff? Introducing new Head & Shoulders Sensitive without colours and strong fragrances. It's first anti-dandruff shampoo for sensitive scalps. Dermatologically tested, it leaves your hair 100% flake-free, beautifully soft and shiny. You can't choose what you're born with, but you can choose your shampoo. New Head & Shoulders Sensitive. Dandruff has a sensitive solution. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I'm Louisa Preston. It appears Osama bin Laden's intervention has failed to produce a decisive shift in the U.S. presidential election. With just two days to go, it couldn't be closer. Latest polls show only 2% of voters remain undecided. With the latest opinion polls putting them neck and neck, this is the frantic sprint to the finish. In Florida, the state that gave him victory four years ago, George Bush has been telling supporters He's the man who'll keep America safe. In a time of war, mixed signals only confuse our friends and embolden our enemies. Mixed signals are the wrong signals for an American president to end. Both candidates are now blitzing the undecided parts of the U.S. In the swing state of Ohio, John Kerry started out attacking Bush's domestic economic policy, but then moved on swiftly to the issue that is dominating this election, the fight against terrorism. 
that with respect to Osama bin Laden and terrorists, there are no Democrats, there are no Republicans, there are only Americans, and we are determined, all of us, and united, that we will seek out and destroy the terrorists and make our nation and the world safe. And it's this man who's put national security to the top of the agenda. Although in his latest video, Osama bin Laden threatens more attacks, Americans are being told to vote without fear. The tapes are new. The threat is not. Our effort nationwide, down to the local level, to enhance security is ongoing. We are far safer today than we've ever been before. Getting their families in on the act, the final big push for votes is most certainly underway. Tomorrow is guaranteed to be the most frenzied day of campaigning yet. Both Bush and Kerry hunting down crucial votes in marginal states across the US. Colin Campbell, 5 News. British troops from the Black Watch have come under fire from Iraqi rebels at their base south of Baghdad. Soldiers at Camp Dogwood have faced daily bombardments since arriving on Friday. No one was injured in the series of assaults carried out this morning. A new video has been aired on Arab television of the three UN workers being held hostage in Afghanistan. The foreign workers were kidnapped on Thursday. Their captors want British troops to pull out of the country and Afghan prisoners to be released. Sport now and Newcastle's unbeaten run under new manager Graham Souness has come to an end with a 2-1 defeat against Bolton. A misdirected Stephen Carr header allowed Kevin Davis to score the winner and take Wanderers to fourth in the Premiership. Tomorrow's weather now. A misty start with some sunshine developing later. Breezy in the northwest and southeast. Top temperature, 15 Celsius. That's it. We're back tomorrow. Good night.